Question number 101. You create a power virtual agents chatbot. You need to share the bot with other team members so that they can try out the bot before you share the bot with customers. What should you use? Option A. Demo website. Option B. Live production website. Option C. Test chat feature. Option D own website the correct answer is option a demo website question number 102 you create a power virtual agents chatbot for a company the management wants to learn about the effectiveness of the chatbot you need to identify the percentage of customers who stop responding to prompts from the chatbot which report should you view? Option A. Customer satisfaction Option B. Engagement over time Option C. Escalation rate drivers Option D. Session outcomes over time The correct answer is Session outcomes over time Question number 103 you are creating a power virtual agents chatbot for a company. Which component types should you use for each scenario? The first question is, the chatbot needs to capture the user ID for authentication. The correct answer is, entity. The second question is, a customer asks a question that needs to be handed off to a live customer representative. The correct answer is Topic. Question number 104. You are creating a Power Virtual Agents chatbot to help users search for available meeting rooms within a building. It must meet the following requirements. Allow users to initiate the chatbot by typing the phrase Help me, meeting guru. Provide meeting room capacity option of 1 to 4 people and 5 to 10 people. End the chatbot session if the user attempts to schedule a meeting room for more than 10 people. Which actions should they use? The first question is, allow users to initiate the chatbot by typing the phrase Help me, meeting guru. The correct answer is Create a trigger phrase. The second question is Provide meeting room capacity option of 1 to 4 people and 5 to 10 people. The correct answer is Create a question node. The third question is End the chatbot session when the user attempts to schedule meeting room for more than 10 people. The correct answer is Configure a fallback topic. Question number 105. You are authoring a Power Virtual Agents chatbot for a company. For each of the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The first statement is, you must create a custom action to display a knowledge base article that answers a common support question. The correct answer is, no. The second statement is, you can use Powered Automate to retrieve a customer's contact number in order to verify they are an authorized user and their support plan SLA. The correct answer is yes. Question number 106. You develop a Power Virtual Agents chatbot in the Microsoft Teams channel named Expenses. You need to identify the operations the chatbot can perform. Which two actions can the chatbot perform? Option A. Trigger a request for approval from a senior manager for high-value expenses. 
Option B, Upload and Process a PDF File. Option C, Staff who are not members of the expenses teams can use the chatbot. Option D, Transfer a chat to a live person if the chatbot cannot answer the question. The correct answers are Option A, Trigger a request for approval from a senior manager for high-value expenses. Option C, staff who are not members of the expenses team can use the chatbot. Question number 107. A company is using Power Virtual Agents with Dynamic 365 customer service. You create a new topic. The topic performs as expected during testing. Customers report that the new topic is not visible in the frequently asked questions section of the company's website. You need to ensure customers can see the new topic. What should you do? Option A. Delete and recreate the topic. Option B. Create a new variable. Option C. Paste the link to the website. Option D. Analyze the chatbot. Option E. Publish the topic. The correct answer is Option E. Publish the topic. Question number 108. A company is building an interactive chatbot to answer questions about product and product warranties. You need to create conversation path for questions about product warranties. Which tool should you use? Option A. Authoring Canvas Option B. Azure Bot Framework Option C. Power Platform Admin Center Option D. Power Virtual Agents Portal Option E. Conversation Mode The correct answer is Option D. Power Virtual Agents Portal Question number 109 You are developing a Power Virtual Agents chatbot for a company. For each of the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The first statement is, you must create a topic to specify how a chatbot responds to a user. The correct answer is yes. The second statement is, you can use pre-built entities or custom defined entities. The correct answer is yes. Question number 110. What are two topics group automatically added when you create a chatbot using Power Virtual Agents? Option A. Greeting Option B. User Option C. Escalate Option D. System Option E. Lessons Option F. Thank you. The correct answers are Option B. User Option D. System